distinguished honor and privilege to introduce to you the 44th President of the United States and your Commander-in-Chief, President Barack Obama. Hello, Marines! Hello, Camp Pendleton! So the war in Afghanistan will end. For you, that means fewer deployments. It means more training time, preparing for the future, getting back to what Marines do better than anybody else on Earth, amphibious operations. As this time of war ends, some of you will be taking off the uniform and returning to civilian life. And just as we gave you the tools to succeed on the battlefield, I want to make sure we're giving you the tools to succeed in the next stage of your lives as well. We're making sure more states and more industries are recognizing your military skills with licenses and credentials you need for a civilian job. I've, if you've done the job on the battlefield with bullets coming at you, you can sure as heck do the job back here in the United States of America. My family and I, we've got a special place in our hearts for the Marine Corps. I've seen your honor, I've seen your courage, I've seen your commitment. I guess uh, I'm kind of like that Army general who once said, the more Marines I have around, the better I like it. <laughs> After all you've given to our nation, you have to know your nation will always be faithful to you. As your Commander-in-Chief, that's my commitment to you. That's the commitment America must uphold to you and your family for all the years to come. Semper Fi. God bless you all. God bless the Marine Corps. And God bless the United States of America.